A new Australian international trailer for Paul Feig's rebooted Ghostbusters has been released. The movie, which stars Melissa McCarthy, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones, also features Chris Hemsworth, who was barely seen in the first trailer. This new look gives us a few alternative jokes and significantly more Chris Hemsworth. Ghostbusters will drop in theaters this July 15th. Christian Byers saw the new international trailer for Ghostbusters. Yeah, I still sell this thing. It's like, it's, it, was it a better trailer than the last one? Sure. But but it's just, it seems like they're like, uh, put something else out. They didn't like that one. And then they <laughs> threw that out there. Um, yeah, you get to see Hemsworth talk a little bit more. And those bits were funny. It's just, it doesn't change what I think this tone is. And it's wrong. Um, the tone just seems wrong. It just seems more of a kind of shticky Saturday Night Live skit that went on too long as opposed to what they did in 1984 where there was a lot of kind of corny jokes and everything too, obviously in the 84 version, but there was still kind of real characters and real story. This just seems like shtick, 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 joke, joke, joke. Um, it was better. It was better, but I still am selling it. Amy Rose? More Hemsworth is never a bad idea, but I still have to sell it as well. And I, it upsets me because I love this cast. I love Feig. Feig, he's so good. He's like, I compare it to Spy because I saw the trailers and I was like, eh. And honestly, like last South by Southwest, I went because it was the screening to see. And I thought it was really funny. So I'm hoping that it's the same kind of treatment, that they're not showing us the best jokes, because they are falling flat. And I think the special effects look good. The production design looks good. It's not a complete you know, flop. But I just, I'm not excited by these trailers. And I really want to be. I'm rooting for them, you know? Yeah. Schnapp. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tentatively buy the trailer, uh, simply because they showed things that I haven't seen in the original Ghostbusters. The first trailer kind of was like almost like a note for note Ghostbusters shot for shot kind of remake yeah. thing. At least this showed them crowd surfing and falling flat. It's literally like, you know, they got no help here. Uh, I thought Chris Hemsworth uh, really showing him and adding those jokes. I mean, like the he's, jokes. he's literally, yeah, he's literally <laughs> the only good thing that happened in vacation. It's true. And so, I mean, you yeah. know, to highlight him and his sense of humor being in there, I, you know, I'm, I'm very, I'm very interested to see what happens with this, this remake. Dennis? Yeah, I'm going to buy it purely because that it's a better trailer than the first one. I didn't hate that first one that that was released last week that you, right. you hated. Yeah, it. I didn't yeah. love it. I didn't love it. I thought I was thought it was underwhelming. I thought with the uphill battle that they were facing with this, that they should have come out stronger. And and this one doesn't fully do that, but it's a lot better than the first one. And like you said, the Chris Hemsworth stuff is a lot funnier. It is, you know. And you, you mentioned this as far as the trail that when we saw that trailer, we did a couple trailer reviews actually. Yeah. You know, we did the trailer review for that. Schnepp and Mark did some trailer reviews. We've been doing a lot of trailer reviews uh, lately that's on the channel right now if you want to check it out. We, um, we also did the Game of Thrones um, season tra trailer yesterday. So that's all up there. Make sure you check that out as well. Did you like so that? So good. You love I like, got chills. <laughs> yeah. I watched it like 10 times. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff that we're doing here now too. So make sure you want to check that out. But the Ghostbusters trailer, I, I don't know. You know, I wanted to go back to what you said about Spy because I felt the same way. But the thing is, the difference I think with Spy and even Bridesmaids and, and this movie, Paul Feig has been working in the rated R space right. um, and does it well because I felt the same way about Spy. I saw that the Green Man trailer for Spy, whatever. Saw the Red Band said, oh, that's potential. And it turned out to be pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, this movie, he has to play in the PG-13 space. Yeah. There's only so much he can do. Um, it's He's not really working off of any, like cause both Spy and Bridesmaids, pretty original, didn't really know what was coming. This one, we already have an idea of what the Ghostbusters are, what they should be. So I think he's kind of, it's just going to be, this is going to be tough. There's been a backlash so far. I <laughs> major hope, backlash. major. I hope Guys. that this movie turns out to surprise everyone. And I'm rooting for it. I really am rooting for it because I like everyone involved from the director to the cast. The trailers have just been very underwhelming. You know what? I'll say this about it. if you go back, you can find it on YouTube. Watch the original Ghostbusters trailer. It's also underwhelming. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's so, so. So trailers can be not what the film and that's is. Why is, Spies is the one you know yeah. statement where I'm holding out. Feig, everyone is so good. I want to believe that it's gonna pull out. Yeah, we're rooting for them for sure. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.